Hello everyone, welcome to the Form 3 Chapter 4 Scale Drawing Summative Exercise 2. Before we start, it is suggested that uh, you watch the Chapter 4 Scale Drawing videos and then you download this exercise, which the link is provided in the description below. And then you print out and try the exercise first before we continue. So that you have a good understanding of the exercises and you gain the most from this video. So if you are ready, let's start. So in the first question, draw the scale drawing of the following object on a grid of equal squares using the given scale. So the scale given here is 1 is to 4 and then the object given is this. So we need to draw here by using the scale of 1 is to 4. So the 1 here represents our drawing which is a scale drawing where one unit of our scale drawing represents four units of the object. So let's take this side as an example, P to Q. So one unit, when I draw it, it represents four units. Then the second one unit that I draw, the second I draw here, represents the next four units here. And we look at this side here which appears as a diagonal for each of the units here. So you see 1, 2, 3, 4. It is also 4 units. So one unit that I draw here, the diagonal for this grid, represents 4 units of this side RP. And the same applies here, here. So the result will be this. Don't forget to label your vertices. Now the next exercise we have the scale of 1 is to 1 over 3 so the given um, object is this so every one unit that I draw here represents 1 over 3 so one unit when I draw it represents 1 over 3 then the second unit the second 1 over 3 the third unit the third 1 over 3 so you will find that actually when I draw this side AB of the object here, it will be three times the unit of this. So three units is this. So for this side BC, two units times three. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's quite obvious now that all the sides here are three times the size of this. So you can see the size will be three times the size of this. So this one unit here, so you have one, two, three, you have three, two units here becomes six. So the result will be as this. C. Scale is one is to two. So the scale drawing is one. This is two. Means that the scale drawing is smaller than the object. Smaller by how much? So since this is two here, you know it's half the size of this. Every one unit drawn is two units here, means it's half of the size. Two units PQ becomes one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six units here. The uh, half of it is three. So MQ is three units here. Okay, so it's one, it's three. For the circle, you need to draw using a pair of compasses. And for this case here, the radius, this is a semicircle, and the radius is three units. So Half of it will be 1.5. So the center is here. You draw the semicircle, and your end result will be as this. And don't forget to label the sides, the vertices. Question 2. Diagram shows the shape MNOP drawn on a grid of 1 cm times 1 cm. Redraw this on the following given grid of different size. So you have this. MNOP drawn in a grid of 1 cm, you need to draw on a different grid. The number of units here is the same. You just redraw the same thing. The number of units here is the same. So like for example, M and the side MN, 1, 2, 3, 3 units. So when you draw here, it will also be 3 units. So for 3, 3 units, 3 units. And here is the same. All is the same. But then the question asks, Calculate and state the scale in the form of 1 is to n. So you do calculate and state the scale. Okay, so we take this side, let's say m to n. For the object, 
it is one two three for one centimeter each so it's three centimeters for the scale drawing it is 0 0.5 one unit so 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 which is 1.5 so it's 1.5 here so to find the scale we need to use the formula so measurement of the scale drawing we take this side which is 1.5 and then measurement of the object we take this side the object here which is 3 so it's 3.5 uh, 1.5 over 3 so scale is 1.5 over 3 and we need to write this in the ratio form and then uh, since we want this to be in the value of 1 we divide by 1.5 Divide both and you get 1 is to 2 to get the scale. Now for the second question, the, the same applies to the second question here. You just draw the same image here using a bigger grid. So you have something like this. Then we calculate the scale. The base here is 2.5 each unit. So it's 2.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.5 which is 7.5. The length of this is 7.5, whereas this is 1, 2, 3, 3. So 7.5 divided by 3, write in ratio form, divide by 7.5 so that this becomes 1, you get this. So this is your answer. Now for question number 3, construct a scale drawing of the triangle ABC using a scale of this without a given grid. So when you're not given a grid, you just draw this in the blank space. So the scale of 1 is to 1 over 2 means that our scale drawing our scale drawing every one unit of our scale drawing represents half of this so we know that our scale drawing is bigger than our object because the value here is bigger our drawing is two times bigger than this so it means the side cb will be eight centimeters the side ca will be six centimeters so when you're constructing this, there is no changes to the angle, only the size of the sides, the length of the sides changes when you draw using different scales. I'll show you in the following video. So we start off with the base which is 8cm. Uh, so we start off with this, 0, 8. And we label this as a C, this is V prime. And then for this, we need to construct a 120 degrees here, where we can either use a protractor, if it is not stated in the, uh, the instructions, we use a protractor, or if a question says without using a protractor, then we must use a compass. So to construct a 120, we learn this in form 1. Do a mark here, construct a mark, and then use this mark. This is actually the 60 degrees, and then we do another marking here and we connect. This will be 120 without using the protractor. But then, where is A? A prime, okay? So it's six centimeters, so we measure six. 6 here and then you do a marking on 6 okay which is 6 here okay so this is your A prime and from this point you connect to the B prime you have Question 4. Diagram shows a scale drawing drawn with a scale of 1 is to 3. Draw the ob actual object. Now this time, you are given the, e the scale drawings and you need to draw the object. So the 1 here is 1 unit here, represents 3 units of the object. Okay, so for example, we take this side, the B and C. 1 unit here, when you want to draw this side, you need to draw 3 units over here. So for the side VC, you get this. Then the same applies to the rest of the units. So you have three units here. 
one unit here becomes three, two times three becomes six, and the rest, the rest result is the end result is this. Question number five. Diagram shows a scale drawing of an object drawn on a one times one grid. Draw the actual object of the following grid of different sizes. So this is again a scale drawing. Uh, you need to draw the object here, but since there are different sizes of grid, you just follow, you just draw based on the given scale drawing. So you get this as your answer. Same applies to this. You just draw the object over here. So we can start off with the base. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six units of the base. So you draw six units here. You draw these two sides and a circle with a radius of, if this is the center, the radius is two, two units. So your result will be this circle with radius of two units, the base six units. Now we come to the problem solving type of question. Diagram shows a scale drawing of a room in the shape of a rectangle. So this is a scale drawing of the room. Calculate the perimeter of the actual room if the scale used to draw the scale drawing is 1 is to 250. Uh, two ways of uh, solving this type of problem. The first is by using understanding. So you see, every one unit of a scale drawing represents 250 of the actual uh, length. So 5.7 cm means 250 times 5.7. So you get the length of this side. So for this side, every one unit represents, every one centimeter represents 250. So 4.4 represents how much? Which is 4.4 times 250. Then you can find this length. This is the first method. Uh, but then I, I'm going to show you the second method, which is by using the formula. Scale equals to measurement of scale drawing over measurement of object. So the measurement of scale drawing is this. Let's say if we, we start with this side, the measurement of scale drawing is 5.7. Measurement of the object is the actual length that we're looking for. Whereas the scale is 1 is to 250, so 1 over 250. Okay, so the measurement of the object for this side, let's say we start off with this side, we are looking for the actual length, we use x. So to solve this, we just cross multiply x times 1, 250 times 5.7, so you get 1425. The same applies to the second side here, where the measurement of scale drawing becomes 4.4. It is, you find the value of y. You get 1100. Zero, zero. But we want to find the perimeter. Perimeter means perimeter means the total length of all the sides here. Yeah, so it's two times of this and two times of this. Two times of 1425 plus two times of 1100. Zero, zero. So you get 5050 centimeter. For question 7, diagram shows triangle A, which is the scale drawing of triangle B. So this is an object with a scale of 1 is to n. Given the area of A is 162 and the area of B is 4.5 cm squared, calculate the value of N. So in order to find the scale, we cannot use the area. We need to use the length of the site. Meaning that given the area of this, we need to find the length of the site first. Then we use the length of the site to find the scale. One more information given in the, uh, in the diagram here is this. The base and the height has the same value. The base and the height have the same value. So we try to find the length of the side A first by using the formula area of a triangle. Since the area is given, so we use the formula area of triangle equal to, equals to half times the base times the height. So for triangle A, area of triangle given is 162 is given 162 here equals to half times a so i use a, a, a non a to represent the left base length and the height since they have the same value we use a both a so you get a squared we move the two here becomes times two and it is three two hundred thirty four and then we square root three two four you get a equals to eighteen the same, the same step applies to triangle B, where the area of triangle given is 
base length and the height is the same so I use B for triangle B which is B squared here and 2 and move here becomes 4.5 times 2 which is 9 and you square root the 9 you get 3 so now we know that for the object the length here is 3 and the length here is 18 we can use the formula measurement of a scale drawing which is 18 over 3 and we just simplify it but then we want the scale in the form of 1 is to n in the form of ratio so 6 is actually 6 over 1 so if you write in this this in ratio ratio form becomes 6 is to 1 divided by 6 you get 1 is to 1 over 6 that is the final answer so this concludes our video for the submittive exercise 2 that's all thank you